Hey what is up you guys my name is Sub-Zero Xtabyte and I am shooting right back at you today with another episode of Do Not Mess With Sub is Minecraft World. I know that I have never called it this before but since people do not seem to leave me alone in this world I will try to make it as clear as possible that people really need to stay out of here because I am getting sick and tired of this every day. So last week someone broke into my house again after I moved like a thousand blocks away from my old house. So you might be thinking like well Sub what the world are you doing right now? I mean I am just throwing around with some blocks right? Well no you would be kind of wrong about that, because what I am doing right now is nothing less than necessary when people think that they can just fool around with my house and destroy my property and belongings. Now having said that I'm going to be dedicating this video today to make the most secure house possible in the world of Minecraft. Even though this might sound a little bit over the top. I think that it is my right to secure myself and my house to the fullest range of my capabilities and I am willing to pay a lot of robux for these security measurements that I'm going to be taking today. Because like I previously said, and before that and before that, I am sick and tired of the fact that people seem to not care about any of my personal belongings in here. I mean I have said this a thousand times already and I am going to be saying this again. I only join into this Minecraft world whenever I need some peace and some rest and just some space in general, I mean I got dumped by this beautiful lady this week and I am just tired of people stealing my stuff and all of that. So right now I am going to be protecting my house, and I am going to make sure that anyone who dares to still cross me with all of this. Well I am going to make sure that ends will meet with them because I am not backing down from a fight and I am not going to be putting down these arrows because I am Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am going to become a force to be reckoned with. Now with that said I will still have to do a lot of things to actually get done with my security installations but you know that will come with time and I hope that the people who still think that they can just try and mess with me are able to see then that I'm not someone that they can fool around with because like I said previously in this video and as I have said in many other of these Minecraft videos I only come here when I need some rest and relaxation and some peace of mind so whenever I come around this place for any of those three things and I come up to my house and I see that it is gone because some Herobrine guy decided that it was worth it to destroy my house or for some random noobs to come crash into my world through some random portal that I have never seen before well that is just the time that I'm going to be defending myself against these people to make sure that I can just use this beautiful world that we call Minecraft for my relaxation and some spa kind of like activities. Now that may sound weird but you know a man has got to do what a man has got to do to get some relaxing around here for himself right. Now let's do this. Now it may not look like something with high tech security right now but once I am done with all of the building and construction then you will be able to see that no one thief will be able to storm into my house and steal stuff. That is just how good I am at this and that is just something that I like to do. I like to prove people wrong and that is just the thing that I'm going to be doing around here. Now let me quote you this from a book called Walden written by Henry David Thoreau and he says, and I quote, if you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations under them. So I feel like I have always been the one that was building castles in the air. Now need it be that I did that around here in Minecraft or Roblox or just in my head that does not really matter. The essence of this quote is the fact that he says that you need to put the foundations underneath those air castles and that will make sure that they become a reality. So the foundations are the hard work that one were to put in when doing something like that. Now I will be the one who is going to put the foundations underneath of 
my castles in the air. I am going to make sure that no one can mess around with the Sub-Zero X to bite the Great anymore and they will all regret every crossing me. They must have thought that I was an old man or something like that and that I couldn't move or something like that. I mean who would break into my house? The one and only Sub-Zero? They must be really crazy to do such a thing. Now let's close this up with this fine keypad right here and choose ourselves a little nice code that I'm not going to be saying out loud of course for security reasons duh. And now with all of that said and done we should be able to only get in through this keypad. And would you look at that we did it boys. This is stage 1 of my super awesome security project that is like going to be super awesome. I mean I would not think that it would be anything less than awesome just because you know. I mean come on people take a look at me and you would see that I am just here to rule the world. I mean I am not here to rule the world just ignore the fact that I even said that but I am here to rule over anyone who is trying to break the rules. I am a rule enforcer as you would say. Or you know I could be more like a law enforcer. Oh my god you guys I am basically a police officer right now. That is amazing. I love and support the blue line. So shout out to any of the cops out there and stay safe. Now of course none of this would be able if I was not that much of a mastermind and I am going to do everything that I can to be able to get this done and to make sure that no one will be able to ever mess with me again. Because that is how I roll. I command and I conquer you could see me like the new Donald J. Trump but then less old than he is. Now of course this house would not be anywhere near done without some high tech security equipment now would it you guys. I mean I am not messing around with this right here I am not kidding with you all. Now this radar or sensor if you would is going to be able to give me an eagle eye perception of anything that is going on around my property. This way I can detect the thieves and the grievers from miles away. Okay maybe not really like miles but I mean it is going to be some distance away to say the very least now what this means is that i will be able to detect those people that are trying to trespass on my property and this puts me into the advantage it is actually giving me the high ground at that point because they have no idea that I know that they are coming for me so I can put up all of my defenses and I will be able to wipe the floor with every one of them. Now some might say that that would be enough right? Just putting up the outside walls as defenses. Well no because you know walls are meant to fall. So these walls are not perfect. Meaning that I will also have to protect what is inside of those walls and that is exactly what these protected chests and furnaces will be doing. No one is ever going to steal from me ever again. You could see this is my way of getting payback on the people that tried to wrong me over the years. So I will not stand for any of that and I will do whatever I will be needing to do to actually get this done and finally get back to all of the relaxation stuff that I was doing before. So let me do this right now and it will pay for itself in the long run. I mean all of these things are like state-of-the-art equipment so yeah I had to pay a state-of-the-art price for it but that is all worth it if you ask me I mean eventually in the long run all of this will be paying itself back because you know this means that less items will get stolen and I will not get grieved as often so without all of that I can just focus on maximum relaxing around here and that way I can work even harder when I am back in Roblox which will make sure that I can make more and better videos ending up in me doing a better job and making more money so that I can keep doing these kinds of videos for you guys. Now I have still got some tricks up my sleeve for any of the guys that still think that they can come around here and bamboozle me. It is like this controlled confusion it is all a grand illusion. Because even though they think that they can just bamboozle me like that, I will show them that I can bamboozle them even harder. Because watch what I am about to do first I am going to build this wall right here out of glowstone. That will make this path illuminate over all of the other paths making the targets more visible for me and they will be attracted to the shiny gold of the glowstone like moths coming to a flame. Now with that said this is where the bamboozle part comes in because I am going to be switching up the lava and the water. So what actually happens when they step foot in the water? Well they will catch on fire in an instant because the water is actually lava and vice versa. Meaning that the lava will actually do no harm to them. So with that said I think that this is going to be the best home security system that I have ever seen in my entire life and I used to be a plumber when I was younger. And you might actually be thinking about how I got all of the super over the top security stuff right? When I was younger I also worked at a security facility and they gave me all of this. Now I am also going to be planting down these lasers right here and whenever someone crosses path with the lasers, meaning that they can actually get through the lava and the water, 
they will let me know that someone is there and I am again on the high ground now by the way actually I was not a plumber and that even made little to no actual sense because you know, what does that have anything to do with anything that we are doing around here anyway? Now of course with all of the first wave equipment being placed down I will just make sure that I can close up the walls right here so that I'm not going to get anyone in my back because I am not that well protected right there and I am already breaking the bank on this equipment in the front so I really do not have any type of currency or something like that left to also protect my house from the back but that does not matter since I am in a little bit of a ravine which will cover my back right there and then now you may have noticed that I said something about this being my first wave equipment well yes this is very true because I will be going to build my own version of the second wave equipment even though I am not yet sure what I am going to be using for that but what I do know is that I'm going to need something good for it something that will make the trespassers think twice about what they are about to go do so let's see what I can actually come up with to finish this right away so what would you guys come up with let me know in the comments down below alright Oh right so as you can see the water aka lava works perfectly because once someone steps foot into the water thinking that it is just going to be that water they will have no idea what hit them once they actually find out that it is not just water what they are treading on right now so they will slowly burn into a crisp and that will be the end of all of that no more trespassers and no more grieving around my house I cannot wait until I can show this to all of you because I am so stoked that I was able to build all of this on my own and I just hope that you are are all ready for this because today is going to be special once this launches and by that I do not mean like special like a holiday special I mean not everything is that special right but then again it still is kind of special because this thing will make sure that I can deal with any little prick that is trying to get into my house ever again so I just hope that everything works fine and that there will not be a defect because that will just ruin my entire day for me right off of the bat alright now let's see I have got these mines that I am trying to use for my second wave of security equipment or defense equipment as you will and I will make sure that no one get through this door with this stone mine because they will never expect something like this so let's see what this mine does it is just going to go here and then when it goes oh my god this was not what I was planning for at all this is quite the disaster if you ask me look at this I just ruined my own house man I cannot cope with all of this right now and it is starting to get colder outside right now so I will have to do something to patch my house back up right I mean I cannot just leave all of this out on the cold and just go back into Roblox because that would mean that people would just be able to enter my house in this Minecraft world without any of the defenses making any sense so what about that I mean come on how can I blow up my own house this is just something that could only happen to me man this is insane to me that I could be able to do this now I am just going to put down a little minefield for myself right here a little bit further out of the way from my house since when any of these things go it will go with a banger and once that happens a little too close to my house well that would just mean that it ends up being a pain in the butt for me since it might blow up all of the trespassers that might be dropping by but it does not make sense to blow up any trespassers if the second thing that I do would be to just blow up my house in the process meaning that 10 seconds after all of the explosions a second team of enemies would be able to come in and just enter the house I mean they would end up sacrificing half of their team just so that they can get into the house but you know they are bad guys they do not care about any of that they do not have some kind of a code they are just going to go at it and finish whatever they want to finish at whatever cost as long as the leader stays alive because he will then be able to take home all of the loot and money that they would have split in the first place now of course that might not be the most ethical thing to do but then again like I said they are bad guys and they do not have some kind of code for that they just do however they please as long as they get their payment at the end of the day and that is why they are in for it not for anything else but the money and the fame now I'm going to be testing this house for the ultimate destruction I am going to see if the house can survive the global disaster bomb right here right now so let's see if this can actually handle the bomb around here Hey would you look at that no damage has been done this is amazing you guys. This is just great not a scratch. Wait what was that explosion right there. 
I have no idea what is going on right now. I mean can someone please explain this? Oh not the chest is gone what is happening to the house you guys? Alright this is not good. Everything is gone. So I guess I could say that my master plan might not have been as good as I would have thought. But with that said at least this is the perfect way to get into anyone his house right away. But with that said I will be leaving you guys to rebuild all of this. And I will see you another time. Thank you.